things just to help you get some more time for your answers. Um, but otherwise, type in what you can, and then we will always go over it.
they're born with, it keeps them warm. But over time, they have to develop blubber. It's fat, and it helps keep them warm. Lipids are great for insulating. Also, you might not think about fats as being related to energy, but fats are a great source of long-term energy. They can store energy for a long, long time. Say, for example, you wanted to swim the English Channel. That's like 21 miles of swimming. The fastest swimmers might be able to do that in seven or eight hours, but it might take a lot longer than that for the average swimmer. More like 25 hours. That's a lot of swimming. Well, you would want to make sure that your body has enough lipids, enough stored fat that it can pull upon. Because after you burn off those carbohydrates, remember, carbs are the fast source of energy, well, you might not have enough energy storage unless you have some lipids on hand. Lipids also make up cell membranes. So they are very important for life because all living things are made of cells. Of course, an excessive amount of lipids could be a bad thing for your health. Remember, it's all about moderation. Okay, next, proteins. Now, when you hear about proteins, a lot of times you might think about power bars. They say they have a lot of protein in them and that they help with muscle building. Well, protein is great for muscle building. Examples of foods that are high in protein include meats and many types of beans. The bond? Okay, so meats and beans are examples. Then your monomer here is amino acids. Monomers of protein are amino acids. So sometimes you see these labels that say, this has 20 amino acids in this food. And really, they're just trying to say that it has protein. Because proteins are made of amino acids, so that's just some fancy advertising for you. But in addition to being important for muscle development, protein is also very important for other functions, such as working in the immune system and acting as enzymes. Okay, so different functions include muscle development. So as long as you are intaking protein, your muscles are able to grow and develop. Um, they help protect your immune system, and they even act as enzymes. Yes. Yep. In the what is it box, that's where you would put the function. Um, lipids are considered fats or long-term energy sources. Easy one for you to remember because 
you put it out, it sounds not like nucleic acid. And if considering DNA and RNA, both of these are involved in genetic information for the coding of your traits. They are found in a lot of your food because whenever you eat something that came from something once living, it can still contain the DNA. For example, when you eat a strawberry, you're actually consuming all the cells that make up that strawberry. And in the nucleus of all those strawberry cells is DNA. Plants and animals both have DNA. In fact, any type of life must contain nucleic acids to direct the cell's activities. So we just powered through introducing the four biomolecules by providing examples, exploring their monomers, and giving some general functions. One last very important part to mention is the structure of these biomolecules. Understanding the structure can help with predicting their properties and easily being able to identify them. One thing I like to tell students to do is to write the four biomolecules in the same order that we went through. Carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. Then remember, this mnemonic device that goes with these four biomolecules. Cho, cho, chom, chom. Instead of chom at the end with an M, it's chom at the end with an N. The C stands for carbon. The H stands for hydrogen. The O for oxygen. So carbs, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids all have that cho in there. I'll pause that for a minute. So again, the C is carbon. The H is hydrogen, and the O is oxygen. So all four of these biomolecules are made with those three main elements.
need to have them filled out. Remember the what is it is also the function. Um, so we'll kind of go through them all. But what is the function of carbohydrates? Taylor? A fast source of energy. Yep, it's a fast source of energy. How about lipids? They have a couple of different functions. Ian, please give me one. Fats. Okay, they're considered fats. What else? Taylor? Long-term energy source. Yep. Long-term energy source. And then there was one other thing that the video mentioned that lipids are important. They um, make up the cell membranes, um, which kind of, well, cell membranes are on every cell and kind of hold everything together. So it's a part of the cell in order to essentially have the organism function. Okay? Proteins. What are some different things for proteins? Isabel, give me one. Okay, enzymes. What else? Daily? Muscle development. Muscle development. Bears? Right, helps immune system. And then there was one more. It's part of DNA genes, so that coding and your genetic code, um, proteins are part of that as well. Okay, and then our nucleic acids, what is their function? Are they important? Taylor. Coding of traits? Yep, coding of your genetic traits. Okay, then what is our monomer for carbohydrates? What is that building block? Logan. Monosaccharides. Monosaccharides, yep. Okay, how about for lipids? Daily? Fatty acids. Yep, fatty acids. And. Uh, Okay, how about for proteins? Isabel? Amino acids. Amino acids, yep. Are we going to have to turn this down? Yep. And then nucleic acids, what are the building blocks for them? This is the one that sounds similar to it. Damaris? Nucleotide. Nucleotide, yep. All right, then examples of carbohydrates include what? Caitlin. Pasta and bread. Yep, pasta and bread. Examples of lipids were what, Logan? Butter, oil, and cholesterol. Yep, butter, oil, and cholesterol. So anything that you can think of that's like a fat or like you melt down and it's greasy, that's usually what a lipid is. Um, proteins. What were examples for protein? Ansley? Meats. Okay, meats. Bailey? Beans. Beans. And the first one they talked about was protein bars. So you can do that as well. And then our two examples of nucleic acids are what, Kaylin? DNA and Yep, DNA and RNA. And then our final thing, the major elements that make up each of these biomolecules and their structure, 
what does the C stand for? Taylor? Carbon. Yep, carbon. I'm going to take that and I'm going to copy and paste it into every one. What does the H stand for, Allie? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. And all of them have hydrogen. What does the O stand for? Logan. Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay. So all of these biomolecules have those three main elements. Then proteins and nucleic acids have N, which is, Janet? Nitrogen. Nitrogen. And nucleic acids um, also have one final element of what, Maris? Phosphorus. Mm -hmm. oh, right? So you should have your chart filled out. I'll stand it out here a little bit just to make sure, right? If you have this filled out, then you're going to go back to Schoology and submit it to the biomolecules chart assignment. And then remember, you have 2.1 homework tonight, and you have a little bit of time left to get some work completed.